Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. It's my favorite month of the year, October, where my creative juices flow a little extra. And today I'm going to be showing you how I converted myself into Madame Butterfly. This hands down has to be one of the easiest and one of the most elegant looks that I've created for Halloween because I used stencils. How easy is that? Anybody can recreate this and I'll show you how you can do it as well. For this look, I used the Fantasy Makers collection from Wet n Wild and I'd like to take this moment to thank Wet n Wild for partnering and sponsoring this video. I'd like to get done with the base makeup first so it, you start with a clean slate. It's just easier to do anything over it. So I'm going to first use this primer. This is the Coverall Primer from Wet n Wild. Just using a generous amount on my face so it gives me that sticky feel. So once I have that texture, it's very easy for any product to stick on to my face cling on to my face and last longer and to even out my skin tone and to make everything flat because the focus is on the artwork i'm going to be using the dewy foundation in desert beige hands down one of my favorite drugstore foundations and i'm going to be applying it on my face and neck using a damp sponge all you need is very less foundation just to even out the skin tone and as you can see it's covered up pretty much all the imperfections and that's the clean slate that i was talking about To give my face just a little bit of structure, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Call Me Maple and I'm only going to be using it in my jawline and to blend it out, I'm using a flat top kabuki brush. To very lightly set my face, I'm going to be using the Photo Focus Press Powder. This is in the shade Neutral Beige and the trick here is to use just enough powder to set. You don't need too much because when you apply too much powder, the other colors don't adhere and the pigment payoff is going to be less. So you use very less powder just enough so your foundation absorbs it and sets your face that's pretty much it on the base now to lock this base so it doesn't move i'm going to be using the rose addiction primer water which also serves as a setting spray and now we're ready for the artwork this is the stencil that i was talking about it's the butterfly skull stencil i'm going to cut it into different parts so i can work on one section at a time I'm going to start with the butterfly which goes on my right eye and this is a sticker so it'll go on very easily and that's another reason for you to apply less powder because if you apply more powder the stickers don't stick so as you can see here it went on very easy and then we have the multi sticks the easiest thing in the world to use on your face your eyes your lips they call multi sticks because they're very versatile and i have so many different colors in this by wet and wild and i use it for traveling and stuff it's just that simple so i'm going to use this in the outline of the butterfly first and look at the way it glides on it's so smooth and then i'm going to use the orange color in the inside part of the butterfly again glides on really smooth and it's so creamy now you can leave it at this if you want but i highly recommend setting anything creamy with a powder so i'm going to be using an eyeshadow to set both the orange as well as the black and the palette that i'll be using is pick your poison using this kind of a crimson orange red shade i'm going to first set the orange and then with the black eyeshadow i'm going to set the black Let's get the stencil out and then I'm going to be using the orange multi-stick on my eyelid as well. And then as I did with the butterfly, I'm going to set it with the eyeshadow. To paint the corners and smaller areas, I'm going to be using the black paint pot. Um, I'm going to be switching between a small flat shader brush and a very thin liner brush just to add that dimension. If you want everything to be one size, you can just use one brush. It's just a personal preference. Basically, whatever 
else is left on the butterfly, I'm just going to paint it with black. You can most definitely leave it at this, it looks fantastic, but I like to add that little extra something, that dimension. So I'm going to be using this deep crimson shade with a flat shader brush. I'm going to shade out those areas where I use the orange uh, just to make it look more realistic. Let's not forget to tight line that only brings everything together. I'm going to be using the Mega Last pencil in black and that finishes up the base of the butterfly. Now you can add any rhinestones or decorate it the way you like, which I will be at the very end after I'm done with all the other stencil work. Now on to the other eye. The stencil is super simple. I'm just going to use it as a reference to draw out the outline using the black multi stick and then take off the stencil and extend the borders a bit. Uh, you can make it as big or as small as you want. I like a bigger black eye. So that's exactly what I'll be doing. And then using the flat shader brush, I'm going to clean out the edges. I just like a neat sharp edge you don't have to do that it's okay if it looks a little messy that's the beauty of this whole look it doesn't have to be very clean uh, but i like it very clean so i'm going to keep it that way now because i'm not doing intricate work on this eye i'm not setting it with an eyeshadow but you're welcome to if you want and just like i did with the other eye i'm going to be using the orange multi stick on my lid and setting it with an eyeshadow and i'm going to blend out the edges using a little bit of black eyeshadow so there's a smooth transition from the lid onto my crease and i'm also going to be tight lining using the mega last eye pencil in black To draw out the tears, I'm going to use the black paint pot using a thin liner brush. I'm going to first draw out two lines, one longer and the other short. And then I'm going to use the back of a brush, first taking some paint pot and stamping it at the very end of those straight lines, just to make it look like the tear is flowing down. And then using the thin liner brush again, I'm going to clean up the edges. Now for the teeth, again, we have a stencil, super simple, just stick it on your mouth. And I'm going to be using the white paint pot using a flat shader brush. I'm just going to paint the stencil. Then I'm taking the black paint pot again uh, with the liner brush. I'm going to do the outline of the teeth and also use it in the center of my mouth. And now for the nose, we have a stencil for that as well. So you're fully taken care of with stencils here. I'm going to stick it right in the center at the very bottom and I'm going to paint it all black with the black paint pod. You can also use the black multi-stick. For finishing touches, I'm going to be using some glitter as well as rhinestones. Uh, for the glitter, I'm going to be using the horoscope palette. I'm just using this kind of like a gray black glitter and just using it around in areas where I feel like using it basically you can just run with your imagination you can use it wherever you want you can also use the orange glitter i think it'll look fabulous 
And then I'm using some rhinestones around my eyes and mouth. These are self-sticking rhinestones, so you don't even need glue or anything. You just peel it and stick it. Um, again, you can use this wherever you like. To almost show that the teeth part is protruding, I'm going to add a little bit of dimension by adding depth underneath the teeth using the brown eyeshadow. Finishing up with some mascara and lashes. For mascara, I'm using the Mega Length Mascara. And for lashes, I'm using these pretty ones. These are called Twilight and they have glitter on them and they shine so beautifully. That's pretty much it you guys this is the completed look i added some butterfly accents in my hair which i bought long ago from amazon to make a dress for my daughter but never made it so i'm using it now and i think it goes pretty well with this look i hope you enjoyed this video and if you plan to recreate this super simple look the product details are listed down below in the description box along with my socials so make sure to tag me i love you guys so much and i will see you soon with a brand new one bye guys